Hi guys. So, um, so what I uh, will be giving you, for those that actually don't know what this is, this is a TCG shop, card shop uh, simulator. Um, it's so bloody addictive. I've never played a game that wants you to play it as much as uh, much as this. Um, I've even you'll you'll see why in a minute. Um, I when I went shopping with my uh, partner um, uh, Saturday, this has got me so hooked. I now start looking at shops in shopping centres to see what layouts uh, they are using so I can implement them in this game. That's how bad I have it right now. So um, so this is my shop name. Um, and this is the current boxes that I'm currently opening. Um, I have only unlocked this recently and I've unlocked the uh, wall uh, of this entire column uh, for this. I did have this vision where having two tills, um, one in here and one in the main shop and focusing on uh, figurines in the shop, uh, but unfortunately that didn't work how I intended. Uh, the patrons were buying, uh, taking stuff from here and then going in that one and paying for it rather than using the till in this one. So I scrapped that idea and now converted this into uh, the gaming room as you can see. So as for the main one, I have actually just unlocked this wall. Uh, not only just, um, this is the only thing that I've actually unlocked um, so let's take you a quick tour. Um, not really going to be playing too much. I'm just in a short break, work break. Um, so I'll show you what I've got, what I've unlocked. Um, but the ultimate goal, I'll show you after the tour. So I wanted to guide these more so the stinky buggers um, in a direction so when they get through here I wouldn't have any stinky people in, in here but sometimes you get the odd one that comes through hence why this is here for that purpose and just in case I've got one here as well um, so anyway back to the tour so I've managed to unlock Destiny up until this point, I was I can un unlock even more, um, but I, I'm just more or less focusing on something else right now, which you'll see in a second. Um, so as you can see, I'm using this wall as a figurine wall, um, and at some point I'm gonna be expanding. Um, so I wanted. The idea of less work and most uh, productive so if I remove this wall there I can just push this whole section back one and insert two uh, two-way shelves uh, for that purpose uh, so it's less work easy to manage and it maximizes space um, as you can see I think the original uh, shop size was from here to over there so having that extra has made a massive massive difference um, so a little bit of a showcase for you um, a few ghost cards uh, in that section um, you can see that I've quite unlocked uh, quite a bit um, I've left gaps for things that I haven't unlocked yet and I've kept them in order uh, to the actual purchasing um, accessories and uh, and booster packs so I've kept them in in order to as you see it here uh, I found that relatively 
easier and uh, um, it obvious to know what I need when I need it um, when I need to restock um, as you can see I've done unlocked quite a bit um, so now this leads me now I've showed you all this and for this one here so I'm not hunting for ghost cards um, like most people I am actually trying to uh, sorry complete the sets um, so I've got one uh, as you can see the number at the top um, so I'm getting there um, I don't think I'll do it anytime soon in fact I don't think I'll ever do it uh, because of the randomization of the cards if I do great um, but I am getting closer and closer and closer um, I have currently probably opened about 100 uh, basic uh, booster boxes um, I haven't opened as many I think I've opened probably about 10 to 20 of the um, uh, orange um, and probably about the same of the purple um, I have opened about 40 of the red uh, so I ha and they have actually taken some real time um, to open um, I think opening 30 boxes took about three hours uh, with the fast pace um, uh, speed of opening packs so I actually quite like the way that some of these look and evolve as the pages turn um, so like this one I think it's quite cool how they evolve So as you can see, um, page 52, I've actually done quite a bit, um, but more or less most of the um, commons that I need are now the expensive ones. Uh, they are becoming super, super difficult to get. And I'm only on the common, I'm, I'm really been focusing on the common uh, booster boxes. Um, but I am, getting some new cards um i mean i i've opened up 30 booster boxes and only gotten five new cards um so that can be a little frustrating um and this one was a recent one i only got, i actually got that one this morning uh, which was great uh, as you can see a collection is getting out. I haven't focused on the next set. I will do once I get to a point on this one. And I haven't been. I think I, when I first started this, I sold my first 2000 card. I wish I didn't. Um, that was one of the cards that I probably do need now. Uh, but yeah, so that's a quick tour. Um, I've got a challenge that I've been, uh, that I, well, not a challenge. I um, basically did a live stream of the 30 booster box openings. And we had a little bet between us. Uh, so who would get the right value on what card I pull and then whoever won they get to choose who opens up another 30 boxes of whatever choice they want so unfortunately I lost and the person that won has actually targeted myself again and I have to open 30 boxes of the red one uh, so that is actually due course um, just waiting for them to be on at the same time I am and then I'll crack through those at some point uh, on a live stream so uh, 
so yeah um, let me know um, what you guys think uh, what you guys have done yeah how your collections going um, what what's your most expensive card um, if you have it um, yeah so cheers <laughs>